Steve Andrews is giving a voice to the voiceless and taking the powerful to task. Now, 8 on your side investigates. As paramedics move closer to active shooters, the feds say those first responders need ballistic protection. But that is not the plan in Hillsborough County. You know, to save lives, fire rescue crews are keenly aware they need to get to the victims of an active shooters, uh, the victims of these active shooters. They need to get there more quickly. Absolutely. And that puts them closer to the danger. So fire departments on both sides of the bay are providing paramedics bulletproof vests and helmets for their protection. Right. But as eight on your side, senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews discovered, that's not the plan at Hillsborough County Fire nope, Rescue. Not at all. A training document that we've obtained says that Hillsborough Fire Rescue personnel will will have no ballistic protection. You believe it? Even though the feds say you insert these EMS crews for rapid patient removal, they need body armor. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Get to victims quicker. Lessons learned from mass shootings at the Pulse nightclub in Orlando and Parkland. It would have helped if we could have got to them quicker, uh, stop maybe some, some bleeding, um, and then rapidly extricate them to the hospitals. In order to do that, Temple Terrace Fire Chief Ian Kemp says fire medics will get closer to the action than before. Because of that, um, we felt it's imperative to, to equip our, our firefighter paramedics with uh, as much safety gear as possible. In March, the city placed brand new bulletproof vests and helmets on all of its fire rescue units. Uh, you can't be uh, too overprepared nowadays. The Hillsborough Sheriff's Office is developing a plan with other law enforcement and fire rescue agencies aimed at containing or neutralizing the active shooters. Then, moving in teams of fire medics to treat the most severely wounded while deputies stand guard. According to FEMA guidelines for active shooter and mass casualty incidents, these teams treat, stabilize, and remove the injured rapidly while wearing ballistic protective equipment. But a Hillsboro Fire Rescue document obtained by Eight on Your Side shows the county has no intention of providing its fire medics with ballistic protection. It's just basic equipment. Union spokesperson Travis Horn claims Fire Rescue Chief Dennis Jones is needlessly putting lives at risk. Just, it doesn't make any sense to me. Clearwater and every Pinellas Fire Rescue Department provides ballistic protection to their crews. Temple Terrace will not go without. Regardless of who we're training with, that, that's our protocol and that's the gear that we'd be wearing. So why is Hillsborough Fire Rescue not providing ballistic protection to its fire medics? Well, the response I've received so far is that this is the sheriff's plan. Now, the sheriff's office told me the decision not to provide vests was fire rescue. So you've got Pasco, you've got Pinellas, you've got Temple Terrace, all providing an extra level of protection to their people, but not Hillsborough County. I mean, I know, what I is up with that? that? That begs the question. What could be more important to the fire chief than taking every precaution to protect his crews? Well, the answer should be nothing, right? I mean, Clearwater says it's providing this equipment because its personnel are its most important asset. Chief Kemp in Temple Terrace told me it's his job to make sure firefighters go home safe every single day. Makes you wonder what the priorities are in Hillsborough County. And I got to tell you, I'm a taxpayer in Hillsborough County. This is embarrassing. Yeah. Well, you know, it always comes down to money, Steve. So uh, somebody's going to have to pay. The sheriff's office is going to have to pony up, or the fire uh, rescue is well, going to have to pony up. I think it's on fire rescue to, to protect his people. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, follow ups to come. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Sure. If you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, call the 800 site helpline 1 800 338 0808.